Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our soon coming King, to the twelve tribes scattered abroad in the name of the Mosiah. It is a good morning, and today we're going to look at how to identify like the Caucasians who are Edom and who are not. You can look at the place names where they lived and where they took their names from because a lot of people get names after their forefathers. So just like the Israelites have a lot of names that come down from the Hebrew and the Christian names, you have a lot of Esau's people. They named their children after their forefathers. So Teman was a son of Eliphaz. He was a son of Esau by Adar or Ada. And that's in Genesis 36. Verse 11, 15, verse 42, and First Chronicles 1, verse 36, and verse 53. That was around B.C. 1792. And I'm reading from the Nelson's Bible Dictionary, and it gives you the definition. So a lot of times, if you want to study the scriptures and study it accurately, then you need a Bible Dictionary. And it says it's a country and probably a city named after the Edomite Philarch, or from which the Philarch took his name. The Hebrew signifies south, etc. See Job 9 verse 9, Isaiah 43 verse 6. And it is probable that the land of Timan was a southern portion of the land of Edom, or in a wider sense that of the sons of the east. Timan is mentioned in five places by the prophets, in four of which it is connected with Edom and in two with Dedan and those are Esau's posterity as well. Jeremiah 49 verse 7 and 8, Ezekiel 25 verse 13. Eusebius and Jerome, those are two of the Hebrew Christian historians, mention Timon as a town in their day distant 15 miles from Petra and a Roman post. So that also helps you to determine who are the Romans. They're the same people who crucified Jesus Christ, the same people who capture the Holy Lands, the same people who are listed as the tabernacles of Edom in Psalm 83, who are a constant thorn in the flesh of the children of Israel, constantly pervert the earth, constantly pervert the scriptures. So this is some of the ways that you can identify who these people are in the earth today because they go under different names. One of their names is the Romans, and you can look at the actions of the Catholic Church with the Inquisition and things like that. They are one of the beasts, one of the two beasts in Revelation 13. So have a blessed day and stay safe. Keep praying Psalm 91, Psalm 109, Psalm 83, Psalm 2. See, pray the Lord's Prayer as well. In Jesus' name, have a great day. Bye.